Okay, index laws. Let's start back at uh, year seven, year eight. Where do we first start uh, with index laws? Let's go with three squared. Three squared is nine, because three squared is three times three. Uh, this two here, that's an, an index, it's a power. Four squared is 16, because it's four times four. And hopefully your fantastic teacher would have told you about a cubed. So let's just go with two cubed. Two cubed is eight. Lots of people think it's six, it's not two times three. This three says that it's two times two times two. There are three twos. This two means that there are two fours. And we're going to play with numbers bigger than two and three. Okay. So that's where we're first introduced to index law. Let's get some terminology down. Um, the number. The number at the bottom, the big number, we're going to call that the base. So of 8 to the 4, the base is 8. 6 to the 3, or, yeah, 6 to the power 3, yep, the base is 6. Base, it's the big number on the bottom. There's two or even three words that we can talk about, this little number to the top. Um, that's called a power or an index, or if we've got lots of them, they're called indices. So here, let me get a red pen. Four is a power, four is an index. Power and index, same thing. This three is a power, this three is an index. The four and the three are both indices, they're plural. Indices means there's more than one of them. So base is the big number on the bottom and the power or the index is the number at the top. Terminology, you need to get your, your head around what they're called. Okay. Um, some things that we need to be able to do. Um, can you remember up here with our 4 squared is 4 times 4? This thing here is called factor form or ex expanded factor form. And that can be a question in your test. So we've got index form or factor form. So we're going to write the following in expanded factor form. The word expand gives you a hint that we're going to make this bigger. 8 to the power of 4, there are... Four eights all multiplied together. This four tells me that there are four of the eights multiplied together. We don't need to get an answer. We are just writing it in factor form. Um, we don't have to multiply it out in our heads. Where's my... Six cubed is six times six times six. So expanded factor form as multipliers in between. We can get a bit more complicated than just one number. Um, with that three squared times five squared, well, there are th two threes. And then there are two fives. And in between them, there's a times. Then there's another times. There's one seven. So that's just all black. So if we had to write this thing here in expanded factor form, that's our answer. Okay, so not only do we need to go that way, but how about I give you expanded form and you put it back to power form or index form. So here we're gonna go uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six twos, so that's two to the power six. Is that, that's pretty easy, isn't it? Okay. It's not just numbers, but we've got letters as well. There's one, two, three, four, five X's, so that's X to the five. There are five X's. Um, you're just counting how many there are, and that's your power. We can also mix them up. So here, uh, we can say that can't fit it over there, so I'll put it down here. Six times two. How many twos are there? There are two twos, so it's two squared. 
and times four. How many fours are there? There are four fours. Um, so we can say that that is the same as that. Uh, this is expanded form, and our answer is an index form. Excellent. Factor trees. How much fun were they in grade seven? Factor trees. Let's do some factor trees. Um, 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 will we start with the number? Uh, let's just go 60. 60. 60 will do. Um, you could go 6 and 10. You could go 4 and 15. You could go 2 and 30. Don't really care. You get to the same answer anyway. Um, 4 is 2 times 2. And remember, can you remember that when you get a prime number in your tree, you put a circle around it. Uh, 15 is... Uh, 3 times 5, and they're both primes. So we're going to go um, 60 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. 2 2 are 4, 4 3s are 12, 4 12s, 60. So it doesn't really mean too much, but we can write 60 as a product of prime numbers. Now we can actually look at that 2. There's two of those 2s there, so we could rewrite that as 2 squared times 3 times 5. And we're just playing around with numbers, but that's how we write 60 as a product of prime numbers using index notation. Uh, let's practice that because that was so much fun. We'll start with a bigger number, um, 200. Uh, we could go 20 and, let's go uh, 20 and 10. So 10 and 20 is a factor pair of 200. That's a nice one. Uh, 10 is 2 and 5, and they're both primes. Remember, you circle your primes and then your branches stop going out. Uh, your 20, let's go 2 and 10. Of 2 and 10, only 2 is a prime. The 10 isn't, so the 10 will branch again. 10 is 2 and five, oh, well, they're both primes. And I've got no, no other non-prime numbers, so my branches stop. So we can write the number 200 as how many twos have we got? One, two, two times two times two, and then there are two fives. And if we multiply them out, two times two times two times five times five, we're gonna get 200. We can, uh, look very carefully at our instruction. Write the number 200 as a product of prime numbers using index notation. So we're not finished. That is just a product of prime numbers, but we can write that 200 as a product of prime numbers with index notation. There are three twos, and there are two fives, Away we go. Done. Um, last thing we'll do, we'll, then we'll wrap this thing up. We might need to calculate some stuff. It's just some nice, easy. This test is going to be about small numbers. So let's look at 2 squared plus 3 cubed. What is 2 squared? 2 twos are 4. 3 cubed. Hmm, if you're not sure, write it down. 3 cubed is... 3 times 3 times 3. 3 threes are 9. 3 nines are 27. So 3 cubed is 27. We don't need to leave our working there. Leave it there in your test though. What's 4 plus 27? 31. So what's 2 squared plus 3 cubed? 31. That was so much fun. Let's do it again. 3 squared plus 2 cubed. Well, 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9. 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. 9 and 8, 17. 3 squared plus 2 cubed. Please don't fall into the trap. 3 squared is not 6, and 2 cubed is not 6. 3 squared... Where's my red pen? 3 squared is 3 times 3. And 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2. 
Lots of kids get in the test and forget all about that and go three, two, to six. And that would be wrong. Okay. Two cubed plus five cubed. Remember, two cubed is two times two times two, which is eight. Five cubed. Five fives are 25. And 25 times five is 125. You're going to get to know five cubed and five to the four through your textbook work, I'm sure. You'll just remember it because you do it so much. And what's eight plus 125? 133. So that's some calculate. Um, pretty easy stuff without a calculator. And that's it. Go do some practice.